Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA semester four, routing and switching, connecting networks. This is chapter seven and section 7.4, remote access. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to explain how the AnyConnect clients and clientless SSL remote access VPN implementation support business requirements. Compare IPsec and SSL remote access VPNs. There are two primary methods for deploying remote access VPNs, secure socket layer or SSL for short or IP security IPsec. Now the type of VPN method implemented is based on the access requirements of the users and the organization IT process. Both IPsec and SSL VPN technologies offer access to virtually any network application or resource. SSL VPN offers such, a fe such features as easy connectivity from non-company managed desktop, little or no desktop software maintenance and user customized web portals upon login. What SSL does is it gives you VPN access using your, your um, for example, web browser. So you open your web browser, type the address, and you put a username and password, and you've got the VPN access. Now, it's a bit different to IPsec, because IP security, you do have to have a, a software installed, an application installed on the devices that actually want to access VPN. This SSL VPN is an industry-first router-based SSL VPN solution. This offers anywhere connectivity, not only from company-managed resources, but also from employee-owned PCs, contractors, or business partner desktop and internet ki kiosks. So for example, the, this is SSL VPN is great because you don't have to manage the com computer. You don't have to install any application or anything. All they have to do is access the web browser and they access the SSL. The SSL protocol supports various cryptographic algorithms for operations, such as authenticating the servers, and clients to each other, transmitting certificates and establishing session keys. SSL VPN solution can be customized for businesses of any size. This solution delivers many remote access connectivity features and benefits including web-based, clientless access and complete network access without pre-installed desktop software. Protection against viruses, worms, spywares and hackers on the VPN connection. Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client with SSL, client-based SSL VPN provide authenticated users with a LAN-like full network access to corporate resources. However, the remote devices require client applications such as Cisco VPN clients or the newer AnyConnect clients to be installed on the end user device. So now with the Cisco AnyConnect, we, we can't just open the web browser and start accessing the VPN, SSL VPN. We have to have an application or software installed. In a basic Cisco ASA configured for full tunneling and remote access SSL VPN solution, remote users use a Cisco AnyConnect secure mobility client to establish an SSL tunnel with the Cisco ASA. After the Cisco ASA established the VPN with the remote users, the remote users can forward traffic IP, tra IP traffic into SSL tunnel. The Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client creates a virtual private virtual network interfaces to provide this functionality. So Cisco Secure Mobility Clientless SSL VPN. The clientless SSL VPN deployment models enable corporation to provide access to corporate resources even the remote device is not corporately managed. It provides a web portal interface for remote devices to navigate the network using port forwarding capabilities. In a basic Cisco ASS clientless SSL VPN solution, remote users employ a standard web browser to establish an SSL with a, a session with a Cisco ASA. The Cisco ASA presents the user with a web portal over which the user can access the internal resources. In the basic clientless solution, the user can access only some services, such as the internet web application and browser-based file sharing resources. IPsec remote access. 
Many applications require the security of an IPsec remote access VPN connection for authentication and encryption of the data. When deploying VPNs for telecommuters and small branch offices, ease of deployment is critical if its technical resources are not available if technical resources are not available for VPN configuration on remote site routers. The Cisco Easy VPN solution features offer flexibility, scalability, and ease of use for both site-to-site -site and remote access VPN, IPsec VPN. The Cisco Easy VPN solution consists of three components. Cisco Easy VPN server, this is a Cisco IOS router or Cisco ASA firewall, acting as a VPN head-end device in the site-to-site -site or remote access VPN. Cisco Easy VPN remote, this is a Cisco IOS router or Cisco ASA firewall acting as a remote VPN. Cisco VPN Client, an application supported on a PC used to access the Cisco VPN server. So to have an IPsec VPN, what we need is a client, VPN client, that has an application installed in them, and to access the VPN, we have to have a VPN-capable router on remote end that's going to send the VPN communication, and then VPN server on the headquarters where we're going to actually receive those VPN messages. Cisco Easy VPN Server. The Cisco Easy VPN Server makes it possible for mobile and remote workers using VPN client software on their PC to create a secure IPsec tunnel to access the headquarters, intranet where critical data and application exists. It enables Cisco IOS router and Cisco ASA firewall to act as a VPN head-end device in a site-to-site -site or remote access VPN. Remote office devices Use the Cisco Easy VPN remote features or the Cisco VPN client's application to connect to that server, which then pushes def defined security policies to the remote VPN devices. This ensures that, these, that those connections have up to date policies in place before the connection is established. Easy VPN, Cisco Easy VPN remote. The Cisco Easy VPN remote enables Cisco IOS router or software client to act as a remote VPN clients. These devices can, security, can receive security policies from the Cisco Easy VPN server, minimizing VPN configuration requirement at the remote location. Cost-effective solution is ideal for remote offices with little IT, IT support or for large customer premises equipment, CPA de CPE deployments, where it is impractical to individually configure multiple remote devices. Cisco Easy VPN Client is simple to deploy and operate. It allows organizations to establish end-to-end -end encrypted VPN tunnels for secure connectivity for mobile employees or telecommuters. To initiate the IPsec connection using the Cisco VPN Client, all the user must do is open Cisco VPN Client window. The Cisco VPN Client application lists the available pre-configured sites. The user double-clicks on the site to select it and the VPN client initiates the IPsec connection. In the user authentication dialog box, the user is authenticated with a username and password. After, after the authentication, the Cisco VPN client displays a connected status. Most of the VPN parameters are defined on the Cisco IOS Easy VPN server to simplify deployment. After remote clients initiates a VPN tunnel connection, the client Easy VPN server pushes the IPsec policies to the client minimizing the configuration requirements at the remote location. This simple and highly scalable solution is ideal for large remote access deployment, where it is impractical to configure policies individually for multiple remote PCs. Configuring the Cisco VPN client is beyond the scope of the course. If you compare IPsec and SSL technologies, offer access to virtually any network application or resources. SSL VPN offers such features as easy connectivity from non-company managed desktops, little or no desktop software maintenance, and user customized web portal upon login. IPsec exceeds SSL in many significant ways. So for example, application. SSL is web enabled application, file sharing enabled, and email, whatever you just web enabled them. IPsec it has all IP-based application. So what you're doing with, with the web with SSL is like a web browser and you're accessing the head end. 
but with IPsec you are pretty much virtually entering the local area network. Encryption is supported moderate to strong in SSL, the key length from 40 bits to 256. In IPsec it's only strong encryption with a key length from 56 to 256 key or bits. Authentication moderate one-way or two-way authentication. With IPsec we have a stronger two-way authentication Using, using shared secret keys or digital certificates. Connection complexity, very low. In SSL, we only require uh, only a web browser. In IPsec, it's medium. Can be challenging to non-technical users because they have to open another session and double click that connection and so on, or open an application. Connection options, any device can connect with SSL, with IPsec, only spe specific devices which with a specific configuration can connect. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye-bye.